call me crazy. I've been going back and forth with this game. Part of me wants to go to the over. Part of me wants to go to the side. What are we doing with Florida and Michigan here in this matchup? So, I mean, I lean toward Florida here. I think the number's gotten a little bit away where it's like going to just stay like a free play type lean for me. But I think they're probably the right side if you're just looking at like the way these two teams match up. The, just the overall sort of caliber of both teams. So Michigan was a team that I was like very vocal uh, about disliking coming into the season. Joe Weed did a preview yeah. where I pretty much did 20 minutes of just talk about how much I disliked this team, how much I thought that, you know, they were probably a bottom, you know, four to five team in the, in the big 10 and they come out. Uh, they blast me for a 5% play against UNC Asheville win by a hundred come back crush Youngstown State, blow out St. John's, couldn't have looked better. But you know what? Since then, they've looked like exactly the team that I sort of expected them to be this season. Um, and, and, you know, this is kind of what I thought they would be. Six and five, they've got a couple questionable losses. Long Beach State, we just talked about Memphis. They lost a close game to Memphis. Lose to Oregon, who uh, I didn't think was very good. And now the takeaway from the Syracuse game over the weekend I really don't think Oregon is is much to write home about. Um, so just not not impressed with Michigan, pretty much where I thought they would be. Now, Florida, I went against last week, 5% play on East Carolina. I got the money easily there, but it was a game where I, I was willing to go against Florida kind of in like the sleepy, like finals, neutral court spot. The game was out in Lakeland. I thought it was a boatload of points for them to be laying in, in a game that really was just going to, probably be a go through the motions and get the win type game. So I think because of that, they're actually a little bit undervalued here. At least they were um, at like two, two and a half. Now it's up to three, three and a half. I think you'd have to, you know, be, there's going to be a point where you don't want to take a bad number. Uh, but I, when I look at this, the teams next to each other, Florida's just so superior. And you've got a coach I really like in Todd Golden in his second year that I think is kind of like starting to get the pieces together. Uh, it, it, you know, that's what this team is, right? I mean, it's all transfers and they've all been great. I mean, you know, they've all been f fantastic. Like Walter Clayton from Iona has been awesome leading the team in scoring Ty Tyree Samuel from Seton Hall's played great. Uh, Poland missed a couple games. He's been awesome. The center it's hand gloden hand gloden from, from Marshall, the seven footer has fit in nicely. And so now I kind of see a, a Florida team with a coach that I've always really expected in Todd Golden, that's like starting to put the pieces together. And it, and it makes me think that they're going to be a team that I want to get involved with going forward because you put, you know, seven and three, they've got 10 games under their belt. But this group uh, of, of transfer portal guys that he's brought in are seeming to mesh. And I think that's really important when you start to evaluate teams this far into the season. You know, we had teams evaluated based on what they were on paper a month and a half ago. But now we can start to look at, at you know, are the guys they brought in meshing? Is it working? And I think it's it's going to work, or it is working, uh, for Florida. Another place that they have a nice edge in this one is on the, uh, you know, is rebounding. I think that this is a relatively even matchup until you look at the rebounding numbers. Florida, number one in the country, total rebounds. Michigan, close to two, you know, two hundred. And you know, th those second chance points could very well be the difference in this game. It's another neutral court game. Charlotte, North Carolina. Somewhat regional, although Michigan's got fans everywhere and they, they, they'll they travel good enough. But still, uh, neutral floor. I think Florida's the better team. The number got away a little bit, but I still lean the Gators way, uh, even at like three and a half. I think they probably get the money. Both these teams, 15, five and one to the over. I know Vino's got to be salivating at, a, uh, at an over uh, possibility in that game as I'm sure they're going to be bombing away from three. And since neither team can actually defend it, should be a very interesting one with Florida and Michigan.